Hey everybody, it's Tim Michael, and I have a new product to show you guys. I'm really excited about this one, admittedly. About almost a year ago, I went to a trade show, and I saw this. This is a pen from Tough Writer, and I've talked about it. You've seen it on my Instagram, and I'm finally really excited to actually share it with you and tell you guys a little bit about it. And I went to Tough Writer. I let them know I was going to be doing a review on their pen, and they said, before you do that, let us go ahead and send you our brand new product that's on Kickstarter that's made over $13,000 to go up onto the market, and this is the Mini Click. And it's a really cool pen. We're going to talk about both of these in today's review and uh, tell you what I think about them. I am going to give you guys the most honest review I possibly can, though. All the good, all the bad. No one's paying me for this. I'm not doing any favors for Tough Rider. This is completely my own review, okay? I'm really excited to share these with you because I've personally found this to be my favorite pen. There are some pros and cons, but I have a lot to share with you about it. So let's go ahead and get into that. So these pens weren't really designed for the artist in mind. Admittedly, they were kind of created for a more dark purpose. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of tactical pens. Believe it or not, there is such a thing. These guys were made for one thing, to be tough. Obviously, goes with the name, but more importantly, to be used as a weapon. And if you want proof of that, you need to go on Tough Writer's website. And right here, they have DVDs teaching you how to use your pen as a lethal weapon. This is kind of crazy, but you got to admit, the one thing that I have learned, because these pens have been built so sturdy, for such a fact that you can use it for self-defense, the actual benefit does come in handy for the artist because they can be pretty trustworthy, not to mention they're very, very, very heavy. So when I bought this pen in the first place, I paid $100 for it. On their website, they can go anywhere from $95 to $200, depending on what you want. I know that sounds really expensive for a pen, and yes, it is, it really is. But when it comes down to it, I was looking for something very specific in a pen, something that I had not seen in any other pen, and that was its weight. This guy is the heaviest pen I have ever picked up. I'm a guy who likes working with big markers. I work with humongous Sharpies, I work with all kinds of Prismacolors, all of them very thick, all of them very sturdy, obviously, markers and things like that. And I wanted something like a big pen. And not only a big pen, but I've always noticed that in this market, for artists, a lot of utensils that we use are very light. And so when you think about picking up a Bic pen or something of that nature that you can get at the store for a buck or whatever, or you can get a kit, uh, like a whole bunch, like 20 uh, pens, uh, ballpoint pens, that you can get them for five dollars or something. When it came down to it, there was nothing out there really for the heavy-handed artist. And being an artist like me who's trained on Cintiqs uh, for a very long time and working in the world of digital, you learn to have a very firm hand when you're using these styluses because the stylus is light, fairly thick, but when you're pushing your lines through on a Cintiq, you're pushing quite heavily. So I decided that I wanted something a little bit heavier. And when I picked up this pen, I was impressed by the weight. I don't know the grams on this guy. I'm sure you can find them on the website. And I'm going to keep talking about the, st the stats of this pen, the specifications of these pens. I'm going to keep that to a minimum. There's tons of information that you can find on their website, on YouTube, on Instagram, on all those things. So more importantly, I want to talk about the feeling I get when I use it. And what I personally have learned are the pros and cons of this pen. So there are two things that I've noticed about this pen. The O-rings on this guy have lasted forever. They haven't worn out. They haven't fall on, fallen off. I've kept a close eye on them. They haven't cracked. They don't move around. They're very, very sturdy. And the thing I do like is that if they weren't there, you know the pen would go sliding all over the place. Including all the groovings that are along the edging of this pen, it just feels really good in the hand, and it's very comfortable. And not only that, but it helps give grip on screwing off the top. And this is something kind of important to me that I've noticed about the other pen, and we'll talk about that in a minute is that you can see that the uh, cap of the pen does not have any o-ring in the center area here it screws right on and it stays very strong it doesn't loosen over time like you would expect some pens would do it locks into place nicely and tightly and does not come loose until you tell it to which is really cool the one negative thing I have noticed about this pen is the clicker. Now, when I first got this pen, I am slightly biased because within a week's time, the clicker went bad on me. 
And this is a very special machine click um, that's made by the company Tough Rider. And it's a very unique style. And you would have to open it up and take it apart to really know what's going on with it and how it works. But I have found that it can't always be trusted. It is a very unique design. It is something that is certainly one of a kind. But you know what? If I'm going to spend $100 on a pen, I would like to trust the machinery inside it. And so since I'm a little bit ADD and if I'm sitting somewhere and I'm bored, my natural inclination is to want to go to town on the clicker. And I found I like the silent click. You can hear a little bit of a rough sound to it, but it's not bad at all. But what I have found is that it doesn't always do the click. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. Right now it's doing great. And I've also wondered if by turning the head of the top of this, if it won't mess it up as well. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Most of the time since they've sent me a replacement part, it has worked, I would say, 75-80% of the time. Honestly, this pen, this one here, is the only one in the industry that I've felt with this much weight. And let me tell you that this really truly helps my art style. Like I said before, being a person who's very heavy-handed in programs on my Cintiq here, it's very important that I have something in real life that can kind of mimic the same feeling. If I'm going to push hard on this pen, I want the pen to feel like it's going to go smoothly. And its extra weight gives me that sensation that I can draw smoothly and do nice crisp movements. And that when I push hard, I'm pushing harder than I normally would, say I was if I was using a Bic pen, because it has all that extra weight. And it is very very, very well balanced. It doesn't feel like it's top heavy. It doesn't feel like it's bottom heavy. It feels very, very well balanced. And so when I'm going and I'm doing my heavy streak, doing my heavy streaks of lines and things or doing cross hatching or anything, this guy has really come out on top of every other pen I've ever used. And a lot of artists that I know, including myself, actually prefer using ballpoint pens over pencils in some of their sketches. And I am certainly one of those people. Why we don't want to erase our sketch lines, I don't know. But for some reason, I've just always appreciated having a ballpoint pen. Now, there is something kind of cool that you can check out on the Tough Rider website, and that's that they actually have these available also as pencils. That is really cool. And let me tell you, if you're a kind of person who likes a pencil, this is a good way to go. And I would strongly suggest checking that out. And you can find it all on their website. The link is in the description below, and there's lots more options there. So this guy is the more expensive one. It's the larger one, it's the heavier one, and I strongly suggest that you can find it on their website. It's got these great groovings along the edge. It's got these two screws holding this um, you know, clip in, in, uh, in place, and it, they have not moved in the year that I've had them. I've had these things loosen up on me. They have not even begun to budge on this pen. That's excellent. And everything has stayed from top to bottom, as well as dropping it a few times, which you'll see in this video. Um, they, this thing has just lasted the whole time. Now, I did damage this a little bit, but it wasn't a big deal, and I was actually really quickly able to bend it out with a nail. Um, but the very top of the pen got a little bit of damage because I dropped it on a cement surface, and it just gently dented it. But I gotta admit... The more dense you put into this pen, the cooler it is. And if you open this up and you look inside, this is solid metal from head to toe all the way through other than where the different inks would go. Let's talk about different inks. There are actually a whole bunch of different inks that you can put in this pen. I only know of Fisher as the one brand that comes to mind immediately, but there are quite a few different options that can go in here and as well as you have your choice of color and all that sort of stuff. But I love that this will last me for years to come because it's something that I can put my own inks in and if I'm gonna spend the money on it, I want it to last, and I want this to become my my workhorse, and it certainly has been so far. So when I told Tough Rider that I was going to be reviewing this pen, they said, hang on, let us go ahead and send you over another pen as well that hasn't come out on the market yet. They started a Kickstarter campaign for $5,500 to get this guy into the market. They've been putting a lot of work into it, a lot of new design. They've been trying to simplify it, even lighten it, but still keep it as functional and tough as you would expect from Tough Rider. But they went and put it up on Kickstarter, 
and the results are actually kind of awesome. They wanted to raise $5,500, and as of today, it's up to $30,775. That is insane. There are a lot of people in the world who want this pen, and I'm really excited to be one of the first to get my hands on it. This pen is called the Mini Click. It is much, much smaller than my pen, and is much, much lighter. Now, I admit, if you've never lifted this pen before, then you will still consider this pen to be pretty heavy. Also very well balanced, also has O-rings on it to make it more comfortable for your grip. I find that this is a very cool, compact pen. If you look at the height difference between this and my pen, you can see, as well as I can get it standing up, that they are about a half an inch, maybe a little bit more in height difference. And if you could pick up these and feel the weight, this guy still holds it out for the, high, for the most weight. When it comes down to it, my pen is still my favorite, but this pen is still tough. You'll see in a little bit that I did some drop tests on this guy. I all I dropped it from a couple feet, as well as, you know, just testing out everything. I've taken this pen apart from top to bottom. It has the exact same mechanism that my pen has when it comes to the clicker. And as I mentioned in my pen, not completely dependable. Works about 85, 90% of the time. You will get that occasional not working-ness, if you will. Now, something I did notice is that this pen is slightly louder. I'm not sure if that's because of the material, whether it's made out of a titanium or out of a brass or what kind of material it is, but you can hear it's a bit louder. They don't really market this as a silent click device, really. They do market it, though, as a unique one-of-a-kind design for clicking devices made in the U.S., and when it comes down to it, they did succeed in that. Do I trust it? Well, I admit because I am biased about this pen, and when I first got it, it didn't quite work properly within the first week. I haven't been able to really trust it. Now, since I talked to Tough Rider about this, and they sent me a new clicker, it has been very trustworthy since then. And like I said, about 85-90% of the time works fine. Same with this pen. About the same. And I find, you know what? It's very replaceable. They have all the parts on their website, easy to replace, and just unscrew and screw it in, no sweat. I really don't want to stress about it because, honestly, it's easy to replace. Same thing as the other pen. This clip has stayed in there, and it has been through a lot of abuse on purpose. I've tried to abuse these pens, as well as um, just keeping an eye on the screws that are here, tight as can be. This is a Allen wrench slash hex uh, key uh, that you can tighten things down, and if you want, they will send you replacement parts if you want to replace this. So there's plenty of stuff. They have replacement O-rings. Now, let's talk about one other important thing about this pen. Let me get out Old Faithful here. Like I showed you before, if I mentioned it in the earlier video, because I don't know what I'm going to cut to, who knows. So if I take this and I unscrew this, you'll see that it unscrews past the O-rings, which I actually really like that it screws past the O-rings. And when I picked up this pen for the first time, I noticed that there was no gapping here. So I was going, okay, which one of these O-rings is the gap? So when I unscrewed it, the middle O-ring became a lot smaller. And you can see that the O-ring is now within this gap. I do find that to be a bit of a negative, okay? And here's why. If I want to make this look quality again and make it look like it, there is no separation between the top and the bottom. I have to find a way to grab this O-ring and stretch it back over the top of the pen, which is not easy, I admit. I've practiced this one or tw once or twice. Once you get it over the top of the pen, now you can go ahead and screw this back in. Make it nice and tight. There you go. And once you get it tight and you see that gap, now you can take that O-ring and you can slide it down into place. And it looks fine. That's going to wear out that O-ring. And I have put this in my bag and that O-ring has slipped back and forth on its own accord. And I find that since I have already experienced high quality in this one and none of its O-rings have moved at all, that's made me very biased about how I feel about O-rings on this pen. Because they move on the front. I haven't had them move on the top of the neck, but I have had them move down here on the bottom of the pen. That makes me go, I, I, I actually like this construction more. I personally would like to see them take the head of this pen back further 
and put the area where you would separate that further back instead of trying to hide it under the o-ring i think that would just be a better design that you've already done on your first version um but that's just me and i'm being really picky and like i said o-rings you can buy them on their website and stuff like that um as well as this being a cheaper pen so if something doesn't quite work out nearly as well as this one would where you spend a hundred to close to two hundred dollars on this pen uh you want to make sure that you know you get what you're buying you get what you're paying for and honestly if you lose these o-rings for any reason there is still a very comfortable grip in the gapping that is there they have not made that sharp where it's going to cut you in any way where some other pens have had that um but all in all i would say still a really great pen and like the tough rider name a ridiculously tough pen so like I said, guys, I give the pros and I give the cons. And I really, really appreciate the Tough Rider brand. I really appreciate the people at Tough Rider. Loved working with them, loved talking with them. I've sent multiple emails back and forth with them and have really enjoyed my time talking with them. They're great at customer service. They get stuff out immediately. I've really enjoyed getting to know them. And they're up and coming company, hands down. So when it comes down to it, guys, I am very biased about these pens. I like them a lot, especially the one that I purchased. I put my money down on this and I'm glad I I did because I use it every single day. Not just for drawing, I use it for my normal note-taking purposes. And if you're a professional who's out in the construction world or anything like that, you drop this pen in the dirt, easy to clean up, and you're right back to working. And this is going to last you for years to come. And for some reason, if you do break it, if someday you find that something has fallen off, all the replacement parts are on the Tough Rider site. Awesome. Love that that can be that way, and love that there is full functional functionality of getting your pen fixed if you lose parts here or there. Needless to say, a $100 pen or a $50 pen is very expensive when you can just use a Bic pen or things like that. This is not for the person who can get away with using Bic pens and is comfortable with them. This is someone who wants one specific utility, one specific utensil that you want to use every time, that you want to call your own, that you want to make your own, that you want to feel is going to make your art better. Instead of reaching into your box of Bix, this is the way to go. And like I said before, it wasn't designed for the artist in mind, but the byproduct of the design seriously helps me as an artist when it comes to sketching in ballpoint pen. And they make them in pencil too. How cool is that? So I would say that this is a win. And it is expensive, but I would say if you want something that is specifically for you, then you need to go ahead and check this out. And you can find it on their website, and they have tons of different conferences that they go to, and you can find more of that out on their blog and on their website and things like that. And, of course, you can also look up Tough Writer on Instagram at hashtag Tough Writer and uh, also Tough Pen, hashtag Tough Pen, and see a lot of the other people, including myself, who love their Tough Rider gear. And they have so much more than that. You really need to stop on by their website, take a look at their DVD if you really want to use the dark side of the pen. Um, and then, of course, you can take a look at some of their other stuff that they create. All very tough equipment, all ready to rock and roll for very tough use, like specialty flashlights and all sorts of crazy stuff. You need to go take a look at their website, and uh, you can see more there. Their website, of course, toughrider.com, T U F F writer.com all right guys when you purchase your pen on toughwriter.com make sure to put in discount code tim michael arts that's going to give you 10 percent off your complete purchase so this would be a good time save a bit of money get on there and buy a ton of these pens to give to your friends your family several artists you might know they're going to love these things as much as i do so you can get on there just put in the discount code Tim Michael Arts when you buy your pen and you'll get that 10% off discount and I hope that you guys enjoy. Like I said, if you see them, tell them Tim Michael said hi and sent you and uh, I look forward to you guys getting to try these out. If you do use them, make sure you use hashtag tough writer or hashtag tough pen on Instagram and let them know that you love your pen after you've messed with it. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for this review of the Tough Rider pens. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you have, leave a comment in the comment box below. Tell me what you think. And, of course, you can ask any questions. I'll try to answer them as best I can. Hit the like button if you've enjoyed it. Hit the dislike button if you didn't like it. And, of course, take a look at my website, Tim Michael Arts. Order a caricature or follow me on Instagram at Tim Michael Arts. And I love getting your comments on there. Love getting to show you guys a couple sketches that I do here and there using this guy as well as my Galaxy Note 10.1. 
one, the 2012 edition, if you guys are curious. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. God bless you. I'll see you next time. Thank you very much, y'all. See you later.